Hi, welcome to Ramco TV. My name is Brad Vory and one of the automation specialists at Ramco. Lindsay has already introduced you to the new Banner VE camera. So today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to program the Banner VE smart camera using the intuitive VE Vision Manager software. Let's take a look. All you need to get started is your laptop, the VE Vision Manager software, which is a free download from Banner Engineering's website, and an Ethernet cable. Note, Gigabit Ethernet is a standard option for the VE camera, but be sure you order the Ethernet cable in addition to the camera. As Lindsay mentioned, the VE camera has the ability to make changes on the fly, which means no downtime to adjust or change the camera. Let's take a look at how to get online and set up a basic vision application. For this example, I'm going to verify the correct assembly of these concrete anchors. Here is the VE software. First thing that needs to be done is the exposure. I'm going to use the auto exposure feature to set the, the exposure based off of optimal contrast. To do that, drop down imager, auto exposure, and press start. Next thing, I need to locate off the top of the head of this anchor. Use the match tool. I'm going to set the region of interest and the model around the top of the head. Drop down pattern and press teach. Then use as reference and select the set reference point. The rest of my tools will be adjusted based off of the position of the head of this anchor. To determine whether the sleeve is on or not, I'm going to use a measure tool. This is going to locate the first and last edge. Then I'll make a calculation based off the outer diameter to determine whether it is on or not. I'm going to use edge strength and adjust it right about here. As you can see, it's going to locate the first and last edge. I can then use a calculation tool to determine the overall diameter. Next step is I'm going to locate the nut to make sure that is on. I'm going to use the match tool, highlight the model finder around the nut, drop down pattern and press teach. Finally, I need to make sure that the washer is present. For this instance, I'm going to use a blob tool. Drag down the box around the washer and set my overall blob size based off of the washer. Now to finalize my inspection, I'm going to use a measurement tool based off of the Edge 1 tool. Use Edge 1 and Edge 2 to determine the overall length of that sleeve. Now I need to set up all my test tools to determine the pass or fail parameters of the inspection. Click Test for each tool. As you can see, the overall diameter is 204 pixels. Select Distance and give me a window. For this example, I'm going to use 190 up to right around 210. Next, I need to determine that there's a blob minimum count of 1. This determines yes, there is a washer or not. Then set my mash tool to a minimum count of one. This determined, yes, it has found a nut. As you can see, I have a running count of my pass or fails. Let's see if this inspection is gonna work. Here are the results of my inspection. As you can see, the first part I have have all the required components in it passed. This piece has a missing sleeve and failed on the measurement tool. This piece has a sleeve but is missing the washer. As you can see, the blob tool failed. And back to a pass tool. All the components are present in the inspection passes. As you can see, setup and modification of the new Banner VE camera is quite simple. For additional information on the VE Smart Camera by Band Engineering or to see how it can help solve your applications, 
give us a call. We'd be happy to bring one by. Thanks for watching and be safe out there.